Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Mandy and I'm so glad you're here today. I haven't been able to do a like face-to-face -face video in a while. Um, frankly, I don't even know if you guys like those types of videos because I usually show my planner and I feel like that's what people are usually wanting to see is planner motivation. So today I wanted to talk a little bit more about the pros and cons of printing your own planner inserts. So I create a lot of my planner inserts. I love creating it. I get so excited as I'm creating the planner insert to be able to use it in my planner and to just see if it works. I love to be able to see if it's something that works for me. It may work for someone else and I love the idea of finding things that work for myself and being able to share them because honestly that's how I've been able to do a lot of life. I I, I take advice from others. I um, use what's working for other people and try it out. I don't expect it to always work for myself. And sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But it's also so fun to just try new things. So I figured I would talk a little bit about that side of what I do. Um, because, of course, I want to encourage you guys to get my planner inserts. But if it's too expensive... Um, or if it's just too many roadblocks, I completely understand that. But I don't want that to make anyone feel like they can't let their creativity come out in their planner. I love how my planner has kind of evolved into a journal, like a life journal for me, a way I can be creative, a way I can get like all my thoughts out. It really isn't just about planning my day anymore. It's really about, um, it's almost like a self-care for myself. Um, I love to sit down with a cup of coffee um, or ice water with lemon, light a candle, and start brain dumping. I mean, it has done so much for me. So when I create planners, I definitely try to take into consideration some of the cons that come with printing your own planner inserts. So First off, um, I do have my notes here. I don't like to have to go back and edit a whole bunch of, of pieces of my video. So I'm going to probably be looking back and forth. So I apologize for that, but I do not have time to spend 40 minutes editing like a 20 minute video, um, maybe in the future. But I did want to mention that. And also do you like my new little filming section here? Um, I figured that would be a good little backdrop. If this is way too bright, I apologize. It's kind of what I'm working with here, but I have this really lovely window. So, so the first thing I want to mention is let's start with a con. Let's start with the bad news. <laughs> um, cons to printing my own planners have been paint paper and ink costs. So I actually want to say that that's almost a pro, um, but the cons can be expensive if you don't have a good printer or um, you have um, printers that where the ink costs a lot. I did some research or heard about the Eco, I'll try to link it down below because I don't know the number of it, but it's the Eco printer from Costco. Um, the ink lasts a long time. Um, the ink isn't very expensive. I can get it on Amazon. I, sh I sh have not had to change out the ink. So I don't know if the ink I got from Amazon as my backup is going to work or not. So don't, you know, quote me on that, but it wasn't expensive when I do try to replace it. But, um, the con is that when you're trying to figure out like your printer system, um, what kind of paper you want to use. I mean, paper literally doubled since the last time I bought a ream of paper. Um, I use 28 pound or 32 pound. I really liked the one from Amazon. And I'm saying this because I know I'm going to get asked <laughs> what kind of paper I use. Um, but the last time I bought Amazon's recommended, I think it was like opaque or something. It's not there anymore. And that brand is, well, it's there, but it's so much more expensive. So then trying different things out and just being open to the financial burden of that, that's a con. I would say that's not the fun part. But um, a pro, so I think I'm going to go back and forth. A pro is that I don't get bored. I really don't get bored with my planner. 
Um, I always have something different I can change it up with. And um, some of the planners that I, I've created and that I've seen out there are really, really cool guides. And I'm a guide person. I love having a guide. I love taking the guide and doing my own thing with it. Um, another con is if you have printer issues. I feel you on this. Printer issues are so frustrating. When we moved here, we didn't know our items were, our, our possessions were going to be going through such a rough time. They probably were in multiple different types of climates. Um, they were moved around multiple different times from a warehouse to a truck, from a warehouse to a truck. And my printer was in there. And when we got it, finally, it would not print anything. So I feel you on printer issues. I had to do a whole bunch of cleaning. I, I didn't even know what I was doing. Um, I had to do a whole bunch of research. I probably went back and forth to try to fix it 20 different times, but I finally got it somewhat fixed. I'm still dealing with some color issues, but um, so I feel you on that. It will. It is big enough to make somebody give up and never want to use one again. But if you are in a steady place with your printer, <laughs> It's not going to be moved around too much or anything. I would suggest getting a decent printer because it's so fun. It's like I don't get bored of, of my printer, um, which brings me into a pro that it's super flexible to print your own print to print your own inserts. So you can print an insert that like one page that will last you a week. You don't have to feel the need to have to use that weekly and be done with it or or to have to use all of you know the um the the planner that you bought um you can do whatever you want so it's super flexible to be able to print your own you could probably go on etsy and purchase like five different types of weekly spreads or whatever and um you can use all of them in a month if you want to see what works for you now a a con is the possibility of feeling overwhelmed when printing, but also just choosing what to use. I totally get that as well. Um, I get overwhelmed very quickly, very easily if there's too much going on, although I still choose to have so much going on. Um, and that is a con to printing your own. If you um, don't know like what you want or what you're doing, like it can be overwhelming to research all these things and to try all these different things. Um, I would try with something that will keep track of a good like three to five things for yourself and then you can figure out how you want them arranged and you know figure out um, if that's a system that's going to work for you. But that is what is also something that I think is a pro is you get to be creative. I get to, I get to be creative, you know, and creating my own. But when I use someone, when I use any type of printed printable, um, I can make it however I want it. I don't have to use it the way that it is, or I don't have to use a whole bunch of stickers to make it the way I want it. And then at the end of the day or the week, um, I'm basically done with it and then I have to create a whole new system. If you find a insert that works for you and the way you like to organize things, then you can you you can be more creative and not have to worry so much about setting it up all the time. Another con is that it does take I should say the time it takes to print. Um I do find myself granted I want everything to be perfect, but I do find myself having to set aside time to um, print my planner and make sure that it's printing right well, the colors, all of that. So that would be a con, but a pro would be that I'm planning, my planning can be more or less guided. It can be whatever I want. Um, so if I want a more guided type of system that week, then I can get a, an insert that's super guided if I want it to be less guided and more just kind of like how I want to write in, in it, then I can find that as well. You can pretty much find whatever system you want and work with it. And lastly, there is one more pro than there is con. I can decorate it however I want to. Um, some of the planners that are not printables are a little bit harder to decorate. Um, 
but if I print my planner and like I can add graphics, I can, and this is actually creating it on the computer myself, but even if I don't do that, I can decorate it however I want to because typically I will buy planner inserts that are more neutral and some of the planners out there aren't as neutral, but you might love the dashboard tabs or the cover or the theme, but then you look at the weekly pages and you're like, this isn't neutral at all. How do I decorate it? And you get sucked into getting it and then it's hard to decorate. So if you can find yourself a nice neutral weekly insert that maybe you can use with that planner because the dashboards were so lovely that you don't have to actually use the planner that came with it, you can use your own insert and you can decorate however you want. So I know this was a little bit scattered of a video because I'm not used to talking so much in front of the camera as, as anymore as much, but I hope that these pros and cons were a little bit helpful for you. These are my pros and cons. There are probably other pros and cons out there that you guys have experienced or someone else has experienced, but these are my pros and cons that I was able to think of that I have experienced as I've become more of a print my own planner type of girl. Um, but as you guys know, I still love having the bones of it be happy planner or disc bound. So let me know what your guys' pros and cons of printing um, planner inserts are in the description below. And if you have any questions, let me know in the description below as well. Come visit me at Mandy underscore Travis chapters on Instagram, and I will see you guys for the next one. And if you haven't already, check out my previous video is my spring 2022 flip through and you will see all of my planner and what's working for me, what's not, all of my pros and cons in there as well. All right, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day and I'll see you next time. Bye.